trying to lose weight and it's not happening and on top of it you're gaining weight in spite of following best of the best diet and exercise what is the reason behind it do you know it can be also because of the hormones yes what are the hormones which contributes to the weight gain if you don't know then stay tuned with me we are going to discuss that namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i'm an endocrinologist hormone specialist doctor from mumbai india now before we continue this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button and in the description box there is a link if you click on that link then this video will be played in hindi language for you agar aap is video ko hindi bhasha mein dekhna chahte hain to upar i button pe aur niche description box mein ek link hai agar aap us link pe click karenge to is video ko aap hindi bhasha mein payenge so let's continue our today's topic that which all hormones causes weight gain in that the very first is a thyroid hormone See thyroid is a gland which is located in our neck area and it secretes two important hormone T3 and T4. Both of these hormones controls our metabolism. Better the metabolism, faster the metabolism, you will be easily digesting the food you eat and you will be able to lose weight. So when your thyroid hormone is functioning in a correct way, you will have a better metabolism and you will lose weight. but for any reason if your body does not have sufficient level of t3 and t4 hormone your body will go into a state of a hypothyroidism and this will cause us delayed and a sluggish metabolism and will contribute to the uh, your weight gain so if you have a thyroid problem make sure that your thyroid is optimally controlled second hormone which we talk is the ghrelin Yes ghrelin is also called as a hunger hormone you may not have heard this name this ghrelin hormone comes from your digestive system and this ghrelin hormone make sure that you feel hungry see what happens when you do not eat food for a few hours your body goes into a state of a hunger mode at that time these hormones are secreted and the moment the ghrelin hormone is secreted you start feeling hungry and the moment you start eating food the ghrelin level starts going down if your body has a high level of ghrelin you will experience that you are feeling hungry again and again and that is the reason why the people who are obese they have a higher level of the ghrelin hormone and this high level of the ghrelin makes them feeling of hunger again and again also people who observes a very strict fasting or who observes a very strict dieting gradually ghrelin level also starts rising and this is the high level of the ghrelin which makes sure that they feel hungry and that is the reason why they cannot sustain dieting for a long period of time so second hormone that is a ghrelin similar to ghrelin there is one more hormone what we call it as a neuropeptide y this hormone comes from your brain and your nervous system and this hormone works exactly same like a ghrelin and it stimulates your appetite makes you hungry especially more of the carbohydrate so both of these hormones we can call it as a appetite stimulant so the moment your appetite gets increased you start eating food and the moment you start eating food the another hormone comes into the picture and that is a leptin yes leptin is a hormone which is actually secreted from the fat cells or the adipose cells what happens when you start eating food gradually your blood sugar starts rising and this will also stimulate your fat cells and your fat cells in response start secreting leptin hormone It is this leptin hormone gives a signal to your brain and tells your brain to stimulate the another center that is a satiety center and the moment satiety center is triggered you feels that your stomach is full and you should stop eating that means leptin makes sure that you stop eating and gives you a sense of fullness or a satiety 
but what happens once you start eating more processed food more carbohydrate rich food and when you start gaining weight so gradually the level of the fat cells also increase and this fat cells start secreting more and more leptin now you might be wondering that more level of leptin is a beneficial but it's not the true what happens when your leptin level starts rising it creates a condition called as a leptin resistance in which your body does not respond to the leptin hormone and because of the leptin resistance you keep on eating still you don't feel satiety and that's how your weight increases so leptin resistance is a very bad and can contribute to the weight gain very similar functioning like a leptin is another hormone and these hormones they mainly come from your digestive system in that the one hormone is a glp1 that is a glucagon like peptide it comes from your digestive system and this glp1 hormone make sure that you feel full you feel satiety and it also maintains your blood sugar level nowadays so many medications have come which are in the direction of the glp1 which is used for the treatment of the type 2 diabetes mellitus similar to glp1 there is another hormone which we call it as a cholecystokinin that is a cck again this hormone comes from your digestive system and this hormone again helps you feeling full and gives you a sense of the satiety similarly we have one more hormone what we call it as a peptide yy this hormone again make sure that you feel full and your sense of satiety is there so we saw two hormones which increases your hunger that's ghrelin and neuropeptide y and we saw four hormones which reduces your hunger and gives you a sense of satiety that's a leptin cck glp1 and pyy so all of these hormone controls your hunger now what has happened you've eaten food then your blood sugar starts rising and the moment your sugar starts rising another hormone comes into the picture and that is a insulin it is a hormone which is secreted by the pancreas which is located in your abdomen area you might have heard about insulin especially for the people who use it for the treatment of the diabetes This insulin hormone is a very important to maintain your blood sugar level. Besides that, the insulin hormone also ensures the storage of the unused energy in the form of a glycogen and up to an extent of fat. So when your body does not have a right amount of insulin, it's a trouble. what happens when you chronically eat unhealthy food gradually your insulin level starts rising and this high level of the insulin makes sure that the insulin sensitivity gets reduced and it causes a condition called as insulin resistance wherein your body does not respond to the actual action of the insulin and this insulin resistance is actually the root cause of many health problems like type 2 diabetes then a polycystic ovarian syndrome in women and a whole lot of metabolic syndrome cascades so make sure that your body has a right balance of insulin now we move on to other hormones and in that we talk about the sex hormones in this the sex hormones will talk about the estrogen and progesterone This estrogen and progesterone are present in both the gender however women have a very higher quantity of it male do have a small portion of it now this estrogen hormone which actually comes from the ovaries and also from the fat cells so what happens that the ovaries secretes this estrogen hormone if your body have a high level of the estrogen then this will also irritate the insulin hormone and causes the insulin resistance and then causes the weight gain similarly if your body does not have sufficient amount of estrogen and when the estrogen level starts falling again it is a problem now this fall of the estrogen hormone mainly happens with the age and especially in a women after menopause So what happens after the menopause the women suddenly starts gaining weight and this weight is a very stubborn weight which does not go off easily 
Why does that happen? That happens because of the deficiency of the estrogen hormone. So what happens once the ovary is not producing sufficient amount of estrogen, your body triggers the fat cells to produce estrogen. However, the quantity is very less. Your body still wants estrogen. So what does your body do? It starts preserving this fat cells. So no matter whatever you do, your body will not get rid of this fat cells because for body it is very very important source of estrogen. And that's the reason why this weight is a very stubborn and does not go off easily. Similarly in men we have another hormone what we call it as a testosterone. Testosterone hormone is also found in both the gender but yes men have a higher quantity. Your testosterone hormone stimulates your metabolism, it makes sure that your body does not store fat and it gives you more and more lean muscle mass. So when your body does not have a sufficient testosterone hormone, again you will gain weight. And this happens mainly in the women and many men as their age advances, testosterone level starts falling down and it can lead into a condition called as a hypogonadism and both of these conditions can cause lot of weight gain. So if you have a hypogonadism, then in that case replacing the testosterone hormone by the TRT will help you in restoring your body weight also. So make sure that whether you have this hormonal imbalance or not. In a woman, high level of the testosterone is also not good because high level of the androgen will give you a whole lot of other health problems like hirsutism and a polycystic ovarian syndrome. So make sure that you have balance of these hormones. Now we will move on to another hormone and that is the cortisol hormone. See cortisol hormone is a hormone which comes from the adrenal gland which is located in your abdomen. It's located on top of the kidney. This cortisol hormone, we call it as a stress hormone. In fact, this cortisol hormone is our life-saving hormone. It saves our life. But what happens in the kind of a lifestyle what we are living on a day-to-day -day basis, we are either mentally or physically under a state of a stress. And this chronic stress causes the gradual and a continuous rise of the cortisol hormone. And this cortisol hormone again causes the weight gain. So make sure that you reduce your stress. And how do you reduce your stress? I have made an another video wherein I have talked about all the stress management tips. If you don't know what are those tips, please watch that video. It will help you out. Another hormone which we will talk is the melatonin. Yes, melatonin we call it as a sleep hormone. See, melatonin hormone is secreted by a pineal gland. What happens as the day progresses and as we progress towards the night, the melatonin level starts rising. And this is the melatonin hormone which induces the sleep. And melatonin hormone also has a very important role to play in maintaining our hormonal circadian rhythm. So what happens when you sleep at night? It is actually a healing process. So at that time many other hormones comes into the picture and one such hormone is a growth hormone. But for any reason if you are not sleeping properly or if there is too much of a light which is stimulated and in the night in your bedroom the melatonin hormone goes into a disturbance state and that causes the weight gain. That is the reason why we say that when you sleep for 6 to 8 hours it in fact helps you in burning fat and makes you lose weight. This is the scientific reason behind that and that's the melatonin. Now we'll move to another hormone what we call it as a growth hormone. Yes, growth hormone is again secreted from the pituitary gland which is located in our brain area. As the name suggests this hormone is responsible for the growth and development. But what happens if your body does not have sufficient amount of the growth hormone, your metabolism will be sluggish, especially that of the fat. And this deficiency of the growth hormone leads to weight gain. So the moment any person who has a GH hormone deficiency, the moment we start correcting it, they find a lot of improvement in their body weight also. Similar to growth hormone, we'll move to another hormone and that is the prolactin hormone. 
again this prolactin hormone comes from the brain pituitary gland the prolactin hormone we actually call it is a milk hormone because this is this hormone which is responsible for the milk production and the moment a woman delivers the child and she goes into the state of lactation prolactin level starts rising and it is this high level of the prolactin again sluggishes the metabolism and causes the weight gain and that is the reason why many times after the delivery a woman find it difficult to lose weight and that one such reason is prolactin so today we saw what all are hormones which is responsible to maintain your body weight so if you are struggling with the body weight then in that case make sure that you do check all of these hormones and if you have any imbalance of any of these hormone correct it then and there because one imbalance of hormone will lead into another hormone imbalance because all the hormones are very interlinkedly connected all right i hope after watching this video you got some good useful information if you found this video it good please click on the like button if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for write that in the comment box below i try to read and answer them as early as i can and reply to them also thank you for joining me till now and i wish you great health we will meet again with some good new useful information till then take care of yourself namaste